Stop what you're doing. Hold on right there. If you are considering crafting this weapon, you might be making one of the biggest mistakes you can in Genshin Impact. I've got five catalysts. I could max refine this thing. I could even just craft one. But I'm not wasting one book on this thing, and you couldn't pay me to waste a book. Now, a lot of the craftable books in the game, the catalysts, they're decent. They're not the best. I don't see anything that's stand out amazing like the Crescent Pike. But one thing I can say for sure, this might be one of the worst four-star items in the game, and I will never recommend it. Now, I want to explain why. You know, the sad thing is, this weapon came from one of my favorite quests in the entire game, potentially one of the best. But there's some major problems here. So let's go over the good. All right, we got a base attack. It's a 44 instead of a 41, meaning it's going to scale up a little bit harder than some other weapons in game. And the substat is energy recharge. That's something that many Catalyst users can enjoy. However, this passive, I read it about 15 times, thinking of ways and reasons that I could use this and dominate with it. I thought maybe if I refine it, it'll be this god tier item. But I cannot I, I can't recommend this to anyone. Because after reading it, and debating, and looking at all the different characters, which I'll go over, I think it sucks. I think it sucks bad. And even if you need a catalyst, I would pray. I would just pray that you get a, a gotcha weapon eventually. I'm sure you'll get something eventually. I think there's just too many weapons that are better than this. Even the, uh, you know, the bad gotcha weapons like Favonius Codex, not, not as popular as some others, destroys this. Destroys it, in my opinion. So let's get started. After the character equipped with this weapon triggers an electro elemental reaction nearby party members of that elemental type involved in the reaction gain a 10 percent damage buff to elemental damage here's the issue boys the character equipped with this must trigger the reaction and it has to be an electro reaction. You see, if it was any reaction, this would be a nice little piece. You could throw it on any Catalyst user, you could throw it on a Mona, a Barbara, it doesn't really matter, and you could actually be buffing your team. But this is such a niche item that I think it is a piece of trash. I am someone in video games that likes to use it and abuse it. That's one of the things I like to say. Use it and abuse it. If it's got a passive, I want it to be active all the time. I want it to be valuable. I want to be able to, to continually make that thing feel good. But in the game where you're building a couple of DPS characters and maybe a couple supports, this forces you to use your supports a lot. I don't want to swap off my Ganyu if she's destroying the enemy. I don't want to swap off my Diluc if he's pumping and dumping and doing damage to get a six second buff? A six second buff? Are you kidding me? By the time I switch back, two seconds are gone, right? And I can stay on my character, but what? Am I going to stay on my Barbara? You know, doing some freaking Barbara attacks? Hey, maybe I could use Lisa, for sure. Maybe I could use Lisa. But am I going to use Lisa? I don't know about that. There is the potential of using this on a main DPS type character. You could use this on a Mona. If you had maybe C1 or C2, I think it's C C2. Makes it so she can be like a main DPS. But I feel like on a lot of the characters in the game that are going to be using a Catalyst and are going to want this energy recharge... It's few and far between, because a lot of the characters that are getting this energy recharge, I want them to be swapping, doing their abilities, getting off, and going to my main DPS. I don't want them staying on the field trying to do damage, which this is kind of counterproductive, but on top of that, I don't want to switch, get a little damage boost, waste a second of it, switch to the other character, and then they've got a, a tiny little 10% damage boost, when I could use the Thrilling Tails, a blue weapon. guys. 10% elemental damage boost for 6 seconds. Or, or, humor me here, I could equip this bad boy right here. When switching characters, the new character taking the field has a 48% attack increase. 
For 10 seconds? Are you kidding me? I don't have to do anything. I swap to the character, I go away, and I've got a 48% attack. I feel like this is going to scale a lot better than that one will. And uh, I understand that it is a percentage of elemental damage you're getting. This is percentage of attack. But 48% attack is nothing to sneeze at. And that's going to play into your elemental cup and your ele elemental abilities anyways. You'll do more elemental damage because your attack is higher. And uh, so that's one of the main reasons is, is like, are you going to replace the Thrilling Tales with this thing? I mean, yeah, you're going to get energy recharge instead of HP, but are you really going to replace it? And then I started looking at some others. And, you know, I've got a Favonis Codex. It's got a little bit lower base attack, but the base energy recharge here is a 10. This thing is going to scale and get much more energy recharge, but also you're getting some energy generated for your team when you're getting these crits, right? That's pretty cool. Or you could use something like the Wid Sith, and you can just do a shitload of damage. You're going to get a bunch of crit damage here, right? And the damage with... This does a 60% elemental damage boost. Okay? There's a big cooldown on it. I get it. I get it. This is 60%? Are you seeing this? It's insanity. Or you're getting elemental mastery, or you're getting a huge boost to your attack. Now, here's the, here's the thing. I understand that the other one gives you elemental damage, but this one, you'll probably just hit harder because you've got crit damage than that elemental damage could ever do, even if you're refining it, right? And then we got something like the Sacrificial Fragments. You're getting elemental mastery for damage and the chance to reset your skill, which leads to more energy, which leads to more burst abilities, which is essentially energy recharge. It's really hard to care about that other item. Is it better than this one? Maybe. Maybe a little bit, but most books in the game, most gotcha books in the game, I would rather use. Can I refine these as easily? No. No, I cannot. But here is the, the nail in the coffin for me, okay? I looked at this item and I thought to myself, maybe, maybe it'll go to 15% and then 20, 25, maybe 30. Maybe it'll be a 30% elemental boost. Maybe it'll be 40, I don't know. Max refining this gives you 20% elemental damage for six seconds. See if this doubled in time, if it became a 12 second. Okay, we're getting spicy. But six seconds, I hate it. I hate this weapon. And I don't say that very often. I don't say it very often at all, but I can't recommend it. If you need it, if you already crafted it, I'm sorry if I ruined your day. I don't want to be that guy, but I saw this weapon and I feel like this one is bait. I feel like it is bait and I wanted to put the warning out there. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe someone else is going to see the beauty in it, but I would rather make this video and at least get you thinking about it than not make it and, you know, someone else makes a video going, hey, by the way, yeah, this thing's trash. And I didn't warn you. I don't want to, I, I, I don't want to be that guy. The quest to get this thing, so good. The cleansing ritual quest. But the item that you get from it, it's a piece of trash. Get that away from me. And that's it. That's the video. That's me ranting for, what was it? 10 minutes? Sorry. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a super thank. It's a tip you can give me. Down below the video, you can click it, and you can actually tip me right on this video and send a little message that I will see, I will respond to. Pretty cool. Also, if you're interested in an energy drink, your boy is sponsored by Advanced GG. He has his own energy drink flavor. The M-Tash Mango Splash, okay? You can put it right in this little cup here. Advanced.gg slash M-Tash. Use code M-Tash for 10% off at checkout. I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day.